Hi, everybody, and welcome to Teaching Tip Tuesday, brought to you by the Center for Inclusive Teaching and Learning here at UWSP. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about attendance. As instructors, we all want to see active, attentive students who regularly attend our classes, but that's not always what we see. We know that classroom attendance matters. It's a better predictor of student success than high school GPA or standardized test scores. To try to get students into the classroom, many instructors adopt mandatory attendance policies with penalties for non-attendance. Sadly, these aren't really effective in getting students into class or in improving grades. This leads many instructors to frame attendance more positively by offering a grade or points for attendance. This is a bit more effective, but critics argue that it reinforces inequities by linking course grades to behavioral compliance rather than to actual learning. So if attendance is important, but we can't score attendance, how can we get students into our classes? Following these guidelines should help you to improve student attendance in your courses. Begin by clearly articulating your expectations for attendance. As part of this, be sure to let students know how they'll benefit from attending your class. Will they get to form relationships with you and with their peers? Will they be able to practice applying concepts or theories? Let them know. Also let them know what the consequences are for missing class. In addition to wasting their valuable tuition dollars, show them how poor attendance has affected the acquisition of skills or the development of grades in prior terms. Next, reduce anonymity. Many students don't attend because they think you won't notice or that you don't care. Taking attendance signals to your students that you find their attendance important. Learning their names and using them shows that you are connecting with them as individuals and have some relationship with them, which provides incentive to attend. Finally, asking students to communicate absences in advance lets them know that you care whether or not they're going to be present. Now it gets a little bit harder and touches on pedagogy. If you want students to attend your synchronous or face-to-face -face meetings, you have to make it worth their while, which means that your meeting time should be about more than just content delivery. You should provide things like interaction with peers, with you, and with the material, or practice in application or other formative activities. Now, so far, all of these suggestions are ways to improve students' intrinsic motivation to attend your class. But not all of our students are intrinsically motivated. So, you may want to incorporate some form of scored work in your face-to-face -face or synchronous sessions in order to help those students who are extrinsically motivated feel the value of coming to class. Remember, there are all kinds of activities that you can incorporate into your instruction to add value. You can begin your class time with a quick review so that students are engaged in discussing the main points from the previous meeting or from reading that you've assigned to them. You can give quizzes to check how their mastery of learning outcomes is progressing or to check their preparation for class. You can break up a complicated lecture with a one-minute paper that will help students process difficult concepts and will give you a glimpse into their patterns of understanding. You can capitalize on social learning by using breakout groups in which peers answer key questions or produce concept maps. You can use think-pair-share formats to allow students to organize their thoughts with non-threatening partners before sharing them in a larger classroom discussion. This is a fantastic way to improve discussion participation overall. Or you can have a standard question and answer session. If you choose to assign points for any of these activities, remember to build some flexibility into your grading by allowing for drops or makeups. There are always going to be legitimate absences. What we're concerned about here is improving the overall patterns of attendance, not punishing students for specific absences. Attendance is important. Instructors can help to engage both intrinsic and extrinsic motivation of students to attend by clearly communicating attendance expectations, reducing student anonymity, and using value-adding active learning in class. And that's this week's teaching tip brought to you by the Center for Inclusive Teaching and Learning here at UWSP. Remember, at SIDL, we offer support for course design, learning activities, assessment, and pedagogy. Visit our website to schedule a consult today.